the state's primary election and with no statewide measures in the general election this fall, a lot rides on today's races. Yeah, we will get the first results actually a bit later tonight. But for now, Fox 13's Brian Flores is here with what we need to know on this election day. Hey, Brian. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yeah, and as Bill mentioned, many races are still up for grabs. And while the general election, as we talked about, not until November, uh, this will show us where voters are leaning and what's really motivating their vote. So incumbent Democrats in general, like U.S. Senator Patty Murray, they're expected to move move on to the general election, but it's her main challenger who we will be watching today. Some expected to be uh, Republican Tiffany Smiley here in the 8th Congressional District, which covers much of King Snohomish and Pierce counties. Democrat Kim Schreier is expected to be the top vote getter, but three Republicans are vying to be her challenger. That includes King County Council member, uh, Council member Reagan Dunn, Matt Larkin and Jesse Jensen, who ran against Schreier two years ago in the general election. What will also be interesting to see is the influence of Donald Trump. For example, incumbent Republican uh, Dan Newhouse in the 4th Cong Congressional District, who voted to impeach President Trump, faces challengers within the party with Jared Sessler and Lauren Culp. And this reminder, if you are voting, if you're voting by mail, you need to have that postmarked by today. If you're voting via Dropbox, those will be open until 8 tonight. And if you need to register to vote or vote in person, you can do so at an election center until 8 tonight as well. Uh, the latest numbers from the Secretary of State's uh, office shows that about 22 percent of registered voters here in our state have returned their ballots so far. That's about a million or so voters. But stay with Fox 13 for the latest election results later tonight. Guys, back over to you.